there's no way that you can completely keep that out of a school corporation. Within hours of reopening, one school in the U.S. found itself confronting the very issue that canceled the classroom. What happens if COVID-19 finds a way into its hallways? On the first day back to school this week, an Indiana student testing positive for the virus. We immediately pull that student from class. We isolate them in a specific place. And everyone who had come into close contact with the student ordered to quarantine. But amid the debate over reopening America's schools, it was a reminder the virus is still spreading like wildfire across the U.S. States like California, Florida and Texas now all have more cases than New York, America's original epicenter of the pandemic. In the hard hit Sunshine State, it's not just a storm of infections posing a threat. Latest projections have SIES coming very close to the East Coast of Florida as a category one hurricane uh, later this evening and into tomorrow. As the storm nears, a state of emergency declared in parts of the coast already reeling from the virus and a foot of rain could be dumped, prompting authorities to close testing sites. Florida reporting slightly fewer coronavirus related deaths on Saturday after setting records four days in a row. Latin America also surpassing bleak benchmarks. According to the tally by Johns Hopkins University, Mexico has overtaken Britain as the country with the third most deaths from COVID. The unwanted record placing Mexico behind Brazil, Latin America's largest nation and the U.S. Latin America is also facing a hunger pandemic, according to the UN World Food Program. It says the number of people starving in that part of the world has skyrocketed to 16 million since the coronavirus hit. The warning issued as the Royal Canadian Air Force winds down its nearly two-week mission crisscrossing Central and South America, as well as the Caribbean, to deliver medical supplies. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.